Hello friends, in the present video, we will see how the piles are classified based on their method of installation. Already in the last video, we have discussed based on the displacement, how the class uh, piles are classified based on the displacement. In the present video, we will discuss based on the method of installation. based on the method of installation so if you understand the last video then you can see the classification based on the method of installation what are they driven piles and second one is that driven and cast in situ piles driven and cast in situ piles and also board and cast in situ piles board and cast in situ piles so the name itself implies that driven driven piles that means these are the piles that are driven through dynamic action that means uh, you will already precast the pile and then you will take the precast pile to the uh, project site and wherever it is required you will place on the top of the soil and by using some hammers or uh, if you apply if you hit keep on hitting the pile then this pile will uh, keep on moving below the ground surface this is what called the uh, driven piles that means this pile is keep into the pound position by using some dynamic action and uh, the carrying capacity that means the load carrying capacity either it may because of the end bearing piles and also you can say friction piles also so this can be made with respect to wood metal concrete or it's up to your wish and as you are applying some external force for driving so here we will use some cap let us say some steel cap just for the safety of the material and in the driven and cast since to pile, what will happen there? We will use some driving tube. So what is it trying to do? It is a hole inside of it. And if we will drive through some dynamic action. After that, what will happen? In the whole part, we will fill it with some concrete or sand. So that's what is called the driven and cast in situ pile. And the tube, it can be withdrawn or it may not be withdrawn. That's a depend upon the project engineer. And similarly, third one, board and cast in situ piles. So if it is a board and cast in stop piles, what we'll do first, we'll make a bore hole. In the bore hole, uh, we will construct the piles. So that's why it is called the board and cast in situ piles. Okay. Now this is the classification based on the method of installation. So from the past three videos, we have seen method based on the usage and method based on the material and displacement and the classification based on the method of installation and also the classification based on the load transfer. So among all these, uh, from the exam point of view, classification based on the load transfer. What is the classification based on the load transfer? Either it may be friction pile, end bearing pile or friction come and bearing pile. And what is the loads or classification based on the uh, purpose or usage? If it is a compaction pile, use it for the densing of loose, loose, loose sands. And if it is a tension pile, use it for the uplifting of the loads. If it is an anchor pile, uh, to resist the anchor of sheet pile. And if it is a batten pile, to resist the lateral load. If it is a fender pile, we will use it in the ship, uh, shipyard areas to protect the concrete deck structures. If it is a sheet pile, it is just used to retain the soil at the different levels. Okay, these classification, these two classifications are more important coming from the gate exam and remaining are uh, important for the solving problems also. In the next video, we will see what are the methods that are used to determine the bearing capacity of the pile foundation. Thank you.